Coven 2.0 will also be launched on 1st of March itself. Alright. Right. And how will people self-register then? They will be able to self-register on 1st of March itself. Maybe, maybe they can do it for 2nd of March, subsequently even for 1st of March also they can do it. But what we have made a provision is that initially we will have a walk-in kind of uh, you know system maybe for a day or two till the registration system you know is utilized by more equipment maybe. If you have a smartphone, then you can either go to our website which is coven.gov.in or you can use Aroge Setu or you can use any other application for example common service will also be coming for an application now you use that application in that application you plug in your mobile number and thereafter you will get an OTP and then you will start getting you create an account so to say once you create an account then you put your name and age and gender and and the kind of identity document which you will be bringing to the center and and that's just submit it that you get registered get as many as four members of your family registered on the same account. Okay. That's idea is that, you know, if, if only one member in the family has a mobile phone, then the other members can come on that. We are beginning on 1st of March uh, for people with 60 years plus. Then if you are 60 years plus, then obviously you will be kind of uh, registered automatically. If you are between 45 years and 60, where we are saying that you will get the, uh, you know, you, you, will, you will get registered and you will get vaccinated only when you suffer from comorbidity. So in that case, as soon as you enter your age, which is between 45 and 60, the system will ask you as to whether you have a comorbidity or not. After registration, you book your appointment which means you will see the list of you know vaccination centers which are offering uh, sort of uh, vaccination services in your area near you yeah. depending on you know what block what district you are in and it will also have the map facility where you can see it on the map as to which are the uh, uh, thing that facility may not come on first of march but it will come subsequently okay now once you see all these places then you can see also the vacancies in those places hmm as to how many vacancies are there in let's say place A, how many vacancies in place B. It will also show whether it's a private uh, facility or it's a public facility. And we'll have an option to choose. We will have an option to choose. So if you go to a public facility, it will be free of cost. If you want to go to a private facility, you will have to pay some amount which the government will be deciding. <music> You have booked your appointment. So on that particular day, now you have to go with the document which you have entered uh, in the in the registration software. Suppose you say driving license, yeah. then you will have to go with your driving license. Hmm. Any document, the, the specifics of which have been provided in the software. Yeah. So seven, six or seven type of documents, which have got your photograph, your age, your, date, your age and, and name, and also your gender. Okay that will be basically accepted so you take that document and in case you are between 45 to 60 then you take your comorbidity certificate you can do it with your friend with your children that's one part you can go to the common service centers and you can register yourself you can call the uh, you know call center and register yourself if you have not been able to register anywhere you can still go and do a walk-in thing in your nearest center yeah. and if there is a vacancy, you will be vaccinated. No, that is not a, that is not because for government of India, 
every vaccine is you know whatever vaccine government of india approved they are the vaccines with equal efficacy and there is no uh, reason for citizens to however if there is a vaccine a which has been injected which has been vaccinated then the second dose will also be of the same vaccine